How's it going, guys? Welcome to Audio Addiction. We have Nucleus with us. He can say his name, what he does. Hey, guys. I'm Max. I'm the guitarist from Nucleus. Awesome. Well, Max reached out to me via Facebook, so obviously wanted to try to have him on. I always love having Australian bands on. But I have, you know, obviously a question I'm sure you get asked a lot, which is, how did you start out Nucleus? How did you get your members? Um, I know there's two other two others with you currently at the moment. So how did you guys kind of come together and form Nucleus? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, well, um, Nucleus started like, you know, around um, like late 2014. Okay. And um, yeah, it was different members. Uh, uh, we had a whole different, uh, you know, uh, sort of music at that point. It was the, the band was more into like progressive sort of style, okay. uh, which was great. Um, but pretty much uh, end of like early 2019, uh, we went through some uh, changes, and uh, pretty much uh, I'm the founder of the band, and I'm the only one left from the uh, old members. Um, yeah, and then the band basically went through a whole new era of changing members and changing style, which what you can hear now is uh, what those changes are. Uh, we ended up working with Nick McLaren from uh, Make Them Suffer as our producer, and uh, which was an absolutely amazing experience since it started, and um, he helped us a lot through this whole transition. And um, and yeah, you know, that uh, we've done some really good stuff with uh, with old members we toured Europe with you know we toured Indonesia we mm -hmm. toured Australia times and uh, <clears throat> but it was a point that I was kind of more uh, I like I really wanted to push the band more into the uh, commercial side okay. as so many people consider it as a bad thing but I consider it as a good thing because uh, for bands really if you want to make it you want to you know produce some music that it's more approachable to a bigger audience. Yeah. So uh, that's what that's what we did. So we tried to produce a uh, a different music with more structure, you know, with more uh, stronger choruses instead of like a lot of riff and you know a lot of technical stuff going on before. Um, and yeah, there you go. You can see the results. You can listen to it. Um, I'm, I'm pretty happy about it. And the new members currently, Jade and Walker, the singer. Jordy, uh, which for the first time, Nucleus now has another guitarist. Oh, nice. Because uh, we the four piece, and we might stay as a four piece, I don't know. <laughs> we'll see how we But it's interesting because now we have two guitarists, and uh, Nathan is our drummer, uh, lately joined the band. Um, yeah, yeah, that's pretty much a uh, short story. Yeah, that's I, I do I, I do I did check out the latest song you guys had sent over, and I did feel, you know, even without kind of realizing it but I, obviously you mentioned you work with Nick and I can feel that sort of influence because I'm a huge fan of Make Them Suffer I love their music um, and they've been on the channel before uh, but I, I, I felt like with your style it does obviously I don't want to say it sounds exactly like Make Them Suffer because that would be a disservice to what you guys are writing but I can tell that through the production style, he is he yeah. obviously has a hand in it, and that is awesome because you know I really feel like they, especially with their newest record, they've done super well, and um, and I can see when you're like, oh well, you know, we want to try to take it more commercial, trying to make it more like palatable to yeah. people. You can definitely hear that, and that, I think to me that's like I was like, this is sick. Like I'm gonna definitely share it to other people and have other people yeah. take a listen to it because it does. You know, obviously, it's still really heavy. It's still, you know, technical in that aspect. Do you feel like, obviously, the band prior to this was more progressive? So, do you feel like, you know, is there going to be some progressive elements? Maybe not as drastic as previous work, but do you feel like it's still going to be incorporated into newer material? Um, yeah. Well, <laughs> it's really hard for me to stop that progressive. Uh, Passion, because uh, I, I grew up as like you know classical, uh, classical guitar player, and then you know I was really into like you know progressive metal, like you know John Petrucci stuff. Sorry. John Petrucci, like my favorite guy of all time, and favorite guitarist of all time, and my whole you know playing style and how I you know start learning guitar is based on that. So I'm really into like different melodies and you know going mm -hmm. crazy. But when I was working with Nick. Nick is like, hey, just, just calm down for a second. Just, <laughs> at a time. just stop. And uh, yeah, he helped me a lot. So we, um, 
yeah, I, I guess I guess you just have to really tune in into the into the into the area that you really want to want to want to approach. So sure. there's no point I sit down and get hey guys, you know, I actually came up with this riff. How we put it in the song as well. Um, some people still telling us though they can still hear those progressive elements, which is um, I, well, I don't hear it anymore because like, I guess people have very different sorts of interpretation in from yeah, progressive sure. metal. To me, to me, progressive metal means you progress, and there's not much repetitive uh, parts in your music. Sure, yeah. Uh, to some people, whenever you play a technical stuff, they call that progressive. <laughs> I, don't, I don't call it progressive, honestly. I don't think that's progressive metal. Uh, like you know, Dream Theater is progressive metal. You know, like that's sure. just, that's just what it is to me. Like I don't call Meshuggah progressive; they're extreme metal. They're one of my favorite band again, but I don't. I never called Meshuggah progressive metal because, in my opinion, they're not. Progressive metal, they're just very extreme metal, yeah, their yeah, own yeah. type. Uh, but yeah, no, um, I try not to uh, push the band into progressive. <laughs> that, you try, try to, you try to give a little bit. I, I felt like with, the, I felt like with yeah. your stuff, like it wasn't like I was like, oh man, he's gonna write like a fifteen minute track and it's just gonna go like forever. Like, cool. I was like. I was like, you know what? He has there's like elements there, like I would say more so with like kind of the lead stuff. And I, I yeah. imagine most people don't know this, or you know, if you're ch familiar with the channel, like I also play guitar, and so like when yeah. I listen to songs and stuff, that is like the first thing that I go to as just right. like you know a good gu guitar player. Like we're 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 both guitar players, so we understand that's like whenever yeah. you listen to a song, you gotta go for immediately the guitars, and you're like, hmm, is it is it good? Is it not good? And <laughs> I felt like with your stuff, it's like, it's technical. It, you know, has that punch to it, and um, obviously you can tell, as I mentioned earlier, that it make them suffer sort of, you know, flavoring there. But it does. There's something really lying underneath there that I'm excited to check out. And obviously, you have you have one song out now, um, which everybody can go check out. Um, but I, I felt like there's just kind of like there's more there that I'm excited to listen to and get delve into more. So, um, again, awesome. Max re really stoked on that. And obviously you do the, I I'm going to guess this, right. You do the clean vocals on this, on this track. Is that correct? Or is that incorrect? Not, not on the last two singles. So okay. uh, I'm, I'm doing cleans in uh, I am ocean EP. Okay. Uh, which was the, our latest EP release, which is I am ocean. The song, which was the hit from that EP, is part of it, and then we dropped uh, three uh, singles after that, which I'm not actually singing cleans in it. Uh, the reason behind it is, um, it's it's funny saying again, it's the whole progressive thing again. <laughs> when when, I, when the band was into more like a progressive style, I felt my voice uh, fits really well sure. because of the tone, because it was really clean and kind of like. Tesseracty, Radiohead, yeah, yeah. kind of voice. That's where my voice standing. Um, but when we kind of, you know, pushing the band into the more metalcore uh, style that we're playing at the moment, I personally really felt like, oh, man, I don't know, like, like I, I kind of, I wish I could have seen with a different tone, or I wish <laughs> I could have done some. I, I, I wish I could do like a pitch yell, but I, I can't. Uh, I mean, I never practiced, but I, but yeah, my voice is just not that kind of tone. Um, so because of that, I start pushing Jaden, our singer, which because has a great voice and um, it just has a very different tone to so many people that I've heard. Like there are some pop punk element into it, but he also has a very nice pitch yo. So what you're hearing after I emotion is Jaden, okay? Uh, which is, uh, in the new single you can hear Jaden singing, and I'm so happy because I just feel Jaden's voice uh, fits way better than mine into the style that we play at the moment. So yeah, no, I'm only playing guitars now. Yeah. There we go. Wait off, wait off the back. You know, you can just you can do the shreds. I'm all about it. Hopefully, who knows? Maybe down the line, you guys can do some like harmonies. You know, that would be. I feel like well, that would be very will, cool. Yeah, well, we we will be doing harmonies at a lot shows for sure. Um, yeah, definitely. There we go. Well, shouts to Jaden. Jaden did a great job. Love the vocals, but <laughs> the screams and cleans, man, they're they're tight. They're definitely cool. Really good, yeah, I know, I love it, yeah. Um, but obviously the next question, Max, the big one, who are you guys influenced by now? I know we kind of skirted around it, you know, with the past question I just talked about. Yeah. But, like, you know, more specifically, who does, I guess, you draw from more specifically, and then you can speak on the band in general. 
Oh man, well, we are members with so many different ages. Like I'm the old, oldest one in the band, and um, I'm 37. So you can imagine, like you know, <laughs> I grew up Metallica, Pantera, Machine Head. You know, then after that, Dream Theater. I was really into like you know, Radiohead and Muse and stuff at that point as well. Plus, I also love classical music. There's so much thing, honestly. Um, same with the other guys. But um, but as a, as a whole band, like. Um, like I know, um, it's just so much, man. Like if if, if I want to just mention like current bands, maybe that sure. we listening, you know, like you know, make them suffer is definitely one of them that I love. Um, um, Jaden love Beartooth a lot as well, and then like uh, Solid Planet, I love Solid Planet, and um, um, man, so many things. I don't know. I'm just trying to like they, those guys love. Um, mm, like I love you know I still like you know I still listen to like my Meshuga and you know my, yeah, my yeah. Dream Theater, even Machine Head. Uh, Jada likes his Arch Enemy stuff sometimes. Tribune. Um, um, mm, what else? What Jordy likes? Oh, I actually uh, don't know what Jordy. <laughs> Jordy, what do you like? Uh, Jordy, if Jordy, Jordy, if uh, Max finds out what Jordy says, I'll just put I'll put text on the screen. Those are Jordy's picks. <laughs> yeah, and. Uh, Oh, so many things that like we, we just generally listen to all these uh lately just just because of like see what's going on um you know all, all these the uh, new uh like honestly I, I like i like i don't know new bring me horizon as well Woo, mm -hmm. I just said. <laughs> uh, uh, man honestly like uh, i personally when i'm when i'm writing music i i try not to listen to metal i'm not gonna lie yeah, like, same I, yeah i listen to like folk music like i love i love folk music from different sort of uh, you know countries like i love i love folk music like from like the east european like the old yugoslavia I oh like yeah Korea. i love their stuff uh, I, I like the persian folk music as well i like um classical music as i say like i'm so old-fashioned like i love bach and beethoven and like you know mozart I, I do listen to all of them um but Overall, yeah, these sort of things, man. Like, there's so many good bands. I don't know. I don't know. Just so hard to pick one of them that'd be like. I can tell what would be my four influences, if okay. you want to say. Shoot it. Like, yeah. So, well, well, you know, what, what, those bands that made me play metal. Uh, interesting. One of them is My Dying Bride. Oh, uh, yeah. A doom band from from England, which I don't know. If so many people don't know them, I guess. But man, they're so good. Like. They're so dangerous to listen to because you they just make you so depressed. <laughs> but yeah. in a good, like, good way, like it made me feel like deep. I don't know. It's, it's emotional. Weird to say. I just I just love those guys, just, especially the old stuff, the '90s stuff. It's just yeah, it's spot on. Um, Machine Head was always one of those bands that just make me play metal. Uh, like uh, yeah, Mishuga is the one that kind of you know changed my whole perspective yeah. of like. Holy shit! You can actually play like this. <laughs> uh, and then, um, oh, uh, yeah, I don't know. It's just like you know, Sepultura is one of them for me as well. And with the newer band, will be you know like um, for sure like the bands who make me listen to like metalcore and you know want to really play those things would be one of them. Would be make them suffer and like as I said, I love Saga Planet a lot too. I just love those guys so much. Um, yeah, it would be just, just to say these six bands. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, I would I would say for myself, obviously, because that my first inkling of of knowing about your band is is the latest single, uh, which we'll kind of delve into a little bit later on. But um, I felt for, like for myself, because I always have this interesting like thought process of like, okay, I don't know what type of influences they're gonna tell me, but I'm I'm curious if I could pick out band like three bands that I feel like they kind of closely assimilate themselves to. Obviously, not exactly, but kind of in the same range. I'd probably say. Yeah make them suffer which i didn't know nick was on it i was just like it, they kind of have that sort of tonality to them so i would say them i'd probably say uh silent planet as well um and i'd probably say like uh invent anime uh from the states they're from texas um yeah. they're another great band uh that is kind oh. of in that progressive metalcore sort of sound yeah. so i feel like for me if new people watching this and haven't heard of nucleus i would say those three bands if you like all three of those bands are going to love this band because they definitely have that similar vibe sound feel all that sort of stuff if i had to say an honorable mention i'd probably say spirit box 
um, they kind of have that sort of that like sound too. It's really interesting you mentioned Streetbox because the mean because uh, uh, Make Them Suffer Streetbox toured with Make Them Suffer last year, and then Nick was just like send me this link to one of, <laughs> one of these guys. I actually never heard of them before that. He's like, dude, check these guys out. They're fucking cool. I'm like, yeah, <laughs> cool. Like when you say Streetbox, I actually want to say one thing. One of the things I really like about what Streetbox is. It is like I personally really like when female metal vocalists stay female and sing metal. Yeah. Like don't get me wrong, I'm not saying like not not the perspective of pop music. Like not trying to be like a you know like, <laughs> I'm not God, you know, I'm hard. They're just like like you can see like she's just herself. She's not trying to be like a hard ass or She's just a metal singer. She's just a normal lady singing metal. And yeah, that's yeah. what I love those guys. It's just like their singer trying not to be anything else. She's just like, oh, I'm just a girl and I like singing metal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you like it, then welcome. Uh, if you don't like it, then piss off. <laughs> so, yeah, so, I love that. I love that about Spirit Box. And, you know, their music and just like their branding is so, so strong. And, oh, you know, 100%. Well, I mentioned before, though, Dream Theater. I'm so influenced by Dream Theater. It's just like John Petrucci is the man. Just he is. Have to say. He is fantastic. I gotta. I gotta give him props. You know, he's one of the. He's one of the best at, especially in our sphere of music. I would say he's one of he the just, top. He's it's not one more one. Funny things existed in metal music, man. And like, and then he, he's the guy also uh, made me really want to stop playing guitar for a couple times, but. <laughs> <laughs> then you're like, uh, it's John Perucci. I feel that. I know. I know. I know. Because I have. I I look at my guitar and I'll be like, uh, I don't like. Uh, I don't know. I, will I ever be as good as John Perucci? <laughs> no one gonna be good as John Perucci, man. I don't think it's just. It's just. It's just somewhere else. Yeah. Yes, definitely. Well, next question, Max. Obviously, for new people checking out Nucleus, I figure it is a good segue to ask this question, but. You know, you have the new single that's out now. Um, if there was one song you would recommend to new listeners, new viewers, people checking this out, um, what yeah. song would you recommend to them? Oh, uh, oof. honestly, I don't know. How the last two singles are. I can like again. I love, I love everything. I mean, Spotify loves Eclipse. <laughs> like, Eclipse uh, streams and listens on Spotify is like hundred thirty thousand right now. I think. Even that we dropped it like, like four or five months ago, I think, uh, which for us is really good. Um, yeah, Eclipse is just simple structure, big, big, heavy choruses. But I think the last two chorus, I think the last two singles are with the one that I would suggest people to have listened to. I Am Ocean EP is really good too. But yeah, um, but man, we, we keep we keep changing. Like we just love to like you know uh, do stuff that is just like um, like people don't expect us to do. You know what I'm saying? Sure, so yeah. I'm surprised if something happened and the next song came out, I just gotta do something else because that's <laughs> what I have to do. You know? It's whatever. So, it's whatever the most current thing is. I I, I get that. It's just like you uh, know. Like, no, for us it's just like, man, I don't know. For us is um, like you know, we like so many different kinds of music that we just want to explore that, and I just feel like sometimes metal bands and playing in metal uh, people think they just always have to stick to one thing and that's yeah. just so wrong i think that 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 perspective need to change so because i'm playing the metal band doesn't mean i don't have to listen to i only have to listen to metal or i only have to like metal music or only have to even write metal music and release metal music i might like to release a electronic song as a part of my metal album like i, I prevail is a good example actually yeah. i prevail is one of the i love these days too I Prevail is a good example of, of this. Like, you just like to release a pop song and no one cares and it's none of your business. I like <laughs> to do it. And, you know, it's working these days, I reckon, in my opinion. So, you know, you never know. We might do something similar. I don't know. Because I always like to do that. And I always feel like why I'm so, you know, pushed by, in, in, by, by the scene that we exist, you know, that exists around us that we think, oh, Okay, now guys, that's that's too slow, that's too soft, or that's too girly. That kind of typical thing that metal guys will say, which I don't, I'm not a fan of it. Um, yeah, I like I like to explore. So I'm, 
the nucleus is all about that. So we'll see what happens. <laughs> I no, I I I feel a lot about that, and obviously you had mentioned Bring Me the Horizon earlier. I love new Bring Me the Horizon. I love old Bring Me the Horizon, and I don't think that's I don't think you can have one without the other. Like, there's plenty of people that have found out about Bring Me the Horizon with like That's the Spirit or like Amo or whatever, and they like that. And there's plenty of people like myself that have listened to them since like you know Suicide Seasons, you know, and them yeah. being a lot heavier. And I think that you know. I think that you can't just have two camps, you know? It's not just, like, one person can like the pop shit, one person can like the metal shit, you know? Like, they're a band that evolves. They're doing stuff that they like to do, and I think for me as a listener, I might be in the minority of it, that I want the band to do whatever they want to do. Like, because then at that point, it's like, why would you... Why would you want to write the same record seven different times? Like, if... I mean, there's probably plenty of people that pay for a record like that seven different times, but... Um, it's really impressive well, to me. Yeah, it's really impressive to me. <laughs> it's really impressive to me when a band tries to improve and tries to do something different and isn't st- like as you were saying stuck to one thing. You know, it's it, they choose to grow, they choose to evolve, and you know that's what continues to make me listen to them. You know, if they can exactly. incorporate a little bit of older sound in with that new stuff, that's that's the perfect medium for me. But you know, I, I understand that sometimes that might not be the case, but you know, I feel like if you don't evolve, you don't change, then you're going to lose. You're obviously going to keep some people, but I feel like you're going to lose more people, at least in my opinion. Yeah, yeah, definitely, yeah. But, um, yeah, I hope, you know, I hope you guys write whatever you want to write. You know, obviously, can can you continue to support you guys no matter if you release a top 40 song or if you release, you know, like a death metal track. <laughs> Yeah, it's like, man, yeah, like, I love, I love to see old metal bands on top of the chart. I don't know why people are so against it. Like, what's wrong with that? Like, what's wrong with a metal band like Parker Drive in Australia release yeah. a song and it goes to, like, top ARIA chart? Like, what's wrong with that? You should love that. You, sh- you should be so proud of that band. You should be so proud of, you know, I don't know, Metallica in 90s, early 90s, make black album into top 10 like you should be proud of these things you should, there's nothing no metal needs to stay shit so no metal musician should ever be able to live from music they always should work in shitty retail kmart though blah 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 <laughs> that's true though no we are we are people as well i like i like to have a good life you know and that's why i like to still work full time and then still have the band as full time and like you know, we like to have luxury. Like, what's wrong with that? You know, it's just no. no that's that's not a thing. So I think people need to really understand this point of view that you're not the one who's making the decision, but that person as a musician, yeah. he's the one who's. So help him or support him or you know. Yeah. No. I I know. I get it too. Cause like I feel like that's my goal and my kind of you know being to do this is like you know i know how hard it is to be a musician how hard it is to you know do what you want and for other people that either maybe like it or maybe don't like it you know that's that's kind of the abrasiveness of music that you know we listen to but you know i i work a full-time job and i do this full-time you know it's like people don't people aren't going to stop doing what they do because you know because they're just like oh well some dude on the internet commented on my video and said that i suck at doing this or whatever you know like you're gonna do it because you want to do it because you love it because you believe in it and you know i i try to support all the bands that i have on here because i know that you know at the current time now it's not their full-time job or whatever and i'm hoping that eventually people you know do what they want to do for a full-time thing like i hope that your band grows to the popularity where you're able to like you know, provide for your family and, you know, write sick tunes. Like who, like, I don't care. Like, that's great. That's what I want, you know, for everybody. Yeah, Yeah, definitely, man. Yeah, definitely. But, uh, the next question, Max, cause we've been, we hit the, we hit the real hard shit right now, but we're going to, we're going to take it into some lighter territory now. Um, but if you could pick a song to cover with Nucleus, what song would you cover? Oh, Ooh, that is hard. Man, you know what? That's actually, because actually, I always, like, I think, I think I've been thinking about this for like 10 years now. It's like, <laughs> what is a song that I would cover? And I, and I decided it would be a pop song Ooh. that I would cover. Okay, so, okay. That's not going to be a metal band. First, there's, there's a couple of, there's a couple of uh, songs that I love to cover, and I can hear it in my head that it will sound good. One of them is, oh man, like, I mean... People, I know you hate him, whatever, you know, whatever it's going behind his 
a story and you know I get it if it's right if it's if it's correct and you know bad person but I only talk about his music Michael Jackson and who is it you know that song Ooh, yes oh, kick ass metal cover I'm gonna tell you don't steal my ideas guys uh, <laughs> Max had it first okay. Max had it first it's on the internet Max had it first or uh, two plus two sorry two two plus two equal five from Radiohead these two songs the ones that I love to cover in metal I would be so about it. Also, I just want to preface, guys, don't take Max's idea. He put it out on the internet first. You know how it works. He said it first, <laughs> so you got to give him you got to give him the props, you know. I I feel like it's only right. Things, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I would I would wow, those are two very I I would be so about either one of them. If I had to if I had to put more weight into one, like if I had to if I had to give my opinion on the spot now. Oh, that's tough. It's just that I, bass. Line. Oh, I feel I feel it? like it's got to be the Michael Jackson one. That one just sounds like it would be a ripper. I would be I would be so I would be plugging the shit out of that. If you guys covered that, yeah, I'd be about right. it. A good song to cover. I just love that song so much. It's it's always on my in my playlist as well. So there we go. A- well, if you guys <laughs> want to hear that cover from Nucleus. Let them know in the comments below if they should do that. Or if you have another song that you want to suggest to them, I'm sure they would greatly appreciate it. So way down in the comments below. Do but it. Next do question, it. Max. Another fun one as well. Keeping it light. Favorite food to eat? What's the go-to? Oof. Oh, man, I'm like a monster. I like everything. <laughs> uh, well, okay. Um, favorite food that I usually eat or favorite food that I like to eat? So it's like, it's like you go to a restaurant and you order... That. Like, okay. like if we right. if we were if we were hanging out right, and I didn't live yeah. many 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 miles away, and we were getting mm-hmm. food, what spot would you take me to, and what would you be like, yo, Brandon, you gotta get this. This is the go to. So if you so if you come to if you come to Australia, Perth, I would take you to one of the very good places because it's so good. Um, but then if I but if if I want to go somewhere and be like you know spend some money and then eat <laughs> something, I would I would definitely get like some. Persian style kebab. Ooh. Uh, but then you know, also I also love everything, man. Like, I just, honestly, there's nothing that you can say between like all the Asian cuisines, like Mexican cuisines. Like, I just, man, I just, I just love everything so hard. <laughs> like, you know, I mean, I would never say like pasta is my favorite food. I'm not gonna lie, but I always eat it. I don't have anything against it. <laughs> but like, I, I don't ever go, you know. I don't know, I'm going to be like, oh, I just go to just pasta place and eat pasta. I would never do that. Um, but, you know, just, yeah, burger, kebab, these things, yes. I'm going to I'm gonna go with the kebab place. That sounds, some Persian kebab, dude. Oof, I would be. Yeah, with a nice, uh, you know, uh, rice with a with saffron thing on top Oof. of it. Do it. I would be so yeah. about it. I don't think I've ever had Persian food, so I would, I would be, I would be so on board with that. All right, okay. You there can, we go. Fun. Yeah, yeah. Do it. Max, take me. Ma- Max is gonna take me to her Persian place once I once uh, <laughs> once uh, audio addiction goes global and I start to travel <laughs> for this shit. <laughs> there we go, nice. Max. Next question, another fun one, music related, of course. If you could pick somebody to collaborate with, whether it be a guest feature on your next record or a producer you'd like to work with, other than Nick, I want to give a shout out to Nick. So I want uh, I want to I want to hit on Nick. But if we if we had to choose a dream producer you'd like to work with, who would it be? Okay. Dream guitarist? I will, I will pick a dream guitarist. Okay, 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 okay. You know who it is? His name is John Petrucci. That will be my dream collaboration. I'm only gonna play the rhythm though. John, just say. <laughs> Please don't ask me to do what you do. Uh, man, would be honestly as a guitarist, two, two guitarists would be John Petrucci. He would be like one of my dream guys to work with as as producer, as anything. Just like just. Just talk to me for a minute. <laughs> there it's we just, go. I, don't, I just found that guy so impressive and just like, yeah, I just love everything about him. His attitude is, he's, he's, he's so humble. Like, man, come on, come on, <laughs> just be arrogant, just be a bit. No, he's not. He's just so humble, so good, so well educated. So just like everything, he takes, he just takes all the boxes. I mean. There we go. Well, John Perucci, I know you watch my stuff. I, I, I well, I just want to say thank you for watching my stuff. I really appreciate it. And then secondly. Uh, you know, audio addiction fam, you know, we, we're a strong unit. So if you would like to tweet at John Perucci to work with Nucleus, you know, listen, 
Just I'm just saying, you know, I'm, I'm putting it out there in the universe. You know, we might as well dream. We're on quarantine. You know, we might as well. I, guess, I don't know what John's doing. He could be doing nothing right now. You know, you never know. Yeah, he he just released his his album actually with uh, with Mark Portnoy. Ooh. Uh, so, yeah, she listened. There to we it. go. Now he's got some free time. I'm, you know, listen. I'm just. Just putting it out there, putting it out there. Just John, you know, I I know you watch myself. I, I'm just saying, just do, just you know, you could do me if you want to do me a solid. That'd be great, you know. Have have Max have Max's dreams be fulfilled uh, with a, a dream feed, dream theater collaboration. <laughs> so top string for you, that's it. <laughs> just yeah, just the. <laughs> Just the just the just the seven string or whatever. I don't know how many guitar. He has probably too many guitars at this point. But uh, yeah. The yeah. next question, Max, is another fun one. Uh, if there was another musical instrument you could master, what would it be? Ooh, I'll show you. Ooh, he's got it. Okay. <laughs> would be this instrument. Ooh. Tell me what that no. is. I have no idea what that is. This instrument in uh, in one of old nuclear song called "Of King in Tree," uh, which was actually a hit at that point for us, and like we 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 got the uh, we were the winner of the song of the year in our state as well. Uh, so this is really called tambour, and it's like a very old Persian instrument. It's like a it's a very different like note, and then the way you're playing it is very different too. So you like your hands. Like... Oh wow. That's what you do with it, and then you like. That would be the one I would master. There we go. I would be, I would be about that. If that could, if that could be in some more nucleus tracks. It will be. It will be mm. definitely. We'll have to find the right place for it again. Yeah. There we go. Well, I'm I'm looking forward to it. it. And then if you need to come back to this interview for inspiration to, you know, just, you know, get the get the nose to the grindstone a little bit more, I you know, I, I would appreciate that. But um the next question, Max, is my personal favorite. I'm a huge nerd, so I love asking it. If you could be a video game character, who would you be? Oh man, I'm so bad with gaming. <laughs> Oh shit! I'm I'm like I'm like the worst person you ask that question. Cause oh no! I played like I played like twenty games in my life, and they're all like <laughs> FIFA from nineteen ninety four, all of them till. To, to okay, how about this? We'll re I'll rephrase the question for you. Uh, since you're such a FIFA lover, if there was one soccer player you could trade places yeah. with, who would it be? That's a great question. Oh man, a great soccer player. I always love. Um, should be someone. Should be someone with from my era, I reckon, uh, that I used to um, really, really dig. Uh, should be some Brazilian dude, I reckon. <laughs> there, like, yeah, I, oh, man, like, damn it. I would say. Oh man, I'm wasting your time now. It's all good. You we'll, we'll cut it, we'll cut it out so that it didn't doesn't seem like an eternity. <laughs> It'll be no, an immediate but, answer. Yeah, because I was like a big uh, fan of the Brazil national team, of, like the different different ones. But then, um, uh, give me top three. How about that? Give me top three. Let, if you really can't land, a, if you can't land on one name, give me top. If you're a top three, Max's choices to be swapped with. Who would they yeah. be? Yeah. Uh, Okay, okay. I, I used to when I, when I was really into soccer, which is like when I used to play it a lot. I mean, um, and just like fifteen years ago, I loved to. I loved De, Del Piero from uh, from Italy. He was in Juventus and he was great. I love. Uh, 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 I used to this this old old one. Uh, his name was uh, Romario. Pretty sure he was like he was in Brazil national team like nineteen ninety four, when they when they got the championship as well. That was it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. <coughs> he was great. I love him. And and um, and uh, let's just say these two. Man, I know so many. I don't want to say these new ones because, like, you know, Messi or Ronaldo, yeah, yeah. you know, because you know, they're not, they're not really from my time. Well, they're great players, but like, you know, when I when I was really into into, into soccer, none of them, you know, or football, <laughs> none of them. But yeah, let's just call it these two. Yeah. yeah. 
Sorry, it was my Amer dumb American brain. I, I, I'm not, I'll, I'll admit on here, I am not like a huge sports fan, but I should have definitely called it yeah. football because I know that that's <laughs> what it's called everywhere else except for in the dumb America. Well, <laughs> you know, some people call that soccer too because we have footy here, which is the Australian uh, football. Okay. So some people call that. So most people actually call that football. I guess it's different depend where, where which state you're from. Like in WA, footy is pretty big, so people call that football, and then everyone will call that soccer. So it's common earlier too, man. Whatever, it's That's interchangeable. I just want to say that I was just a dumb American on my own channel. <laughs> Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> uh, next question, Max. Getting back to the music stuff, if you were to compile like a musical dream tour, well, who would be mm -hmm. on it? Obviously, your band is on it as well. I just figured, you know, point that out. Current bands, like bands, yeah, just like, like a tour, dream tour. Who would be well, on it? Well, the software has to be it. Okay. I would go straight away. Solid Planet, hopefully. Woo! Okay, okay. Like a massive headliner. Man, I don't know Metallica. I was gonna say Metallica, because like those guys have have made me who I am. Like I, I, I hate it when people make fun of those guys or like just like, ah Metallica. Like, <laughs> I, yeah, wait, I get it, man. But like metal music probably exists because of those guys. So oh, 100 percent. One of the reasons not everyone playing this crappy hairy metal anymore in the 80s was 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 was, was Metallica. It was bad like them. It's so, like I have huge respect for them. So. Metallica, yeah, fucking headline. I love to, yeah, have the opportunity once in my life play one show with those guys. Cause now I'm gonna shit my pants. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. make sure to bring a spare. I just, I, I want you to. I, we don't. I don't want to see that shit on. No pun intended. I don't want to <laughs> see that shit on stage. <laughs> yeah. Metallica, make them suffer. Solid Planet, Iron. Ooh, that would be a bad. I, I feel like make them suffer in Silent Planet would obviously be on board with you know doing a tour with metallica but you know oh. if you guys if you guys would like to purchase tickets for this insane tour uh that's happening in 2024 because you know we we figure 2020 is pretty much done with so i'll give them three years we you know that's enough yeah. time you know might as well yeah 100 percent. there we go I well you can fit in machine head somewhere as well because you know they're super <laughs> well i'm pretty sure rob flynn will be happy to tour with the with the old friends metallica so there we go. Well, that is quite a lineup. If you guys want to see that, you could purchase tickets yeah. below to you know to this insane tour happening in 2024. So you know, I I'm listen. I mean, if you want to tweet at Metallica and Machine Head, you know, I, I already know make them suffer in Silent Planner on board. I don't, you know, I'll, yeah. you, you can tag them if you'd like, but you know, I feel like it, we gotta use we gotta use the powers of the internet to get Metallica and Machine Head on board. Do it. Do it. There we go. <laughs> Next question, Max. Obviously, in relation to the Dream Tour I just asked you about, um, who puts on a great live performance in terms of the bands that you've seen? Oh, good question, man. Oh, man. Like, straight away, the first band that comes to my head was Every Time I Die. Man, those guys are so good live. Like, like their singer, like he has a very, you know, kind of like a very happy, like, very kind face, in my opinion. They're singing. Dude, but when he goes on stage, he turns into this monster. And I'm like, we are, I actually watched him in a very small club here as well. And then, and then the guitarist halfway from the set was bleeding from his eyebrows. And uh, the the smaller guy, not the big dude. And yeah, then yeah. he just like was from play. He didn't even grab like a towel to fix it. I think the blood just stayed there for like for like another hour, just like dried out. It was like a it was like a. Like dude, like all this blood thing aside, it's just they're just so, such an interesting band to watch, and it's like, it's just man, like that that show was insane. That show was insane. Um, um, a show that I watched uh, that I really, really that's like, like, I have to, I have to be in a band, something like that. Um, uh, Machine Head would be one of them. Like I just, I just love Rob Flynn uh, energy on the stage. Um, that was that was that was a hell of a experience for me, and uh, Dylan just skate plan. <laughs> oh, uh, I knew you were gonna say that. I had a feeling. Yeah, so I stayed far at the back because I didn't want to get hurt. So, but yeah, those guys are. I can understand why they're not playing any shows for like the next ten years because they have to go through like physio and Cairo just to fix all those <laughs> like damages and like. 
Like, yeah, my disc just relocated, man. Like, five of them, and, like, my spine is fully, uh, you know, out of function. So it's just, yeah, it was it was insane. So, yeah, these these three bands are... Okay. I, w- I would say I haven't per- I've seen videos of Machine Head. I haven't personally seen them yet, but I'm sure that they're out. They're on my list of bands to see. But I can definitely yeah. speak on Dillinger and Every Time I Die because I've seen both of them play. And I mean, obviously, Every Time I Die is still a band, and they are still playing shows. So if you have a chance oh, to I- see them see them but dillinger i i agree with you max i'm i'm very surprised that they have lasted as long as they had just because they i mean like you could see them probably breaking bones yeah. on stage <laughs> and like and ben ben weinman uh, the guitarist which is he's the guy i think who was running the band he's such a um he's such an uh, inspiration regarding like how you run your band diy because yeah. i know he pretty much that's what he does like i mean i, I know they're labeled blah 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 but like they they technically almost like a massive DIY band to me. Pretty much. They do everything else. And that was just, uh, that's like a very interesting thing for us because we are a DIY band as well, DIY band as well. And then, um, and then we don't necessarily want to jump on board on any labels at this point because of that point. Because, you know, I mean, there are heaps of labels that I would love Nucleus to be on board with them, like Rise Records, like, you know, Sharp Tone, those sure. sort of yeah. labels. Uh, but until that happened, I, I really have no interest in jumping over with like the smaller ones. To be honest with you, because there's no point. So and we can run a band ourselves. So yeah, Ben Wyman is a definite inspiration regarding DIY band as well. Oh yeah, he's he's an incredibly smart businessman, and I know he's now yeah. doing production work. So I know he lives. Uh, actually, ironically enough, he lives. I think a couple hours north of me in New Jersey. He has like a studio in, in my state. So. Shout out to Ben Wyman if you'd like to come on. Amazing. Yeah. Great dude. Um, next question, Max. Another fun one, of course. Favorite TV show, favorite movie? Okay, cool. That's easier. All <laughs> right. Let's, let's, piss off, let's piss off a lot of metalheads now. Because <laughs> when it's up to movie, when it's up to TV shows, I really like drama uh, and sometimes comedy. Not, not necessarily a big fan of comedy. Uh, one of the shows that I love is called Outlander. I'm a big fan of Outlander. I just love that show. Um, um, the, 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 the comedy one, man, I still like Friends and How I Met Your Mother. Those will be still my, my top two favorite, to be honest with you. Um, uh, movie, though, I have, I, the movie's very different. Like, I love my top five movie, my, you know, my top four, four, five, three, one, would be, like, Fight Club. That's a great movie. Uh, Lost Highway from David Lynch. That's just a, such a good movie. Um, um, uh, oh, man, there's just so many good movies. Um, hmm, another TV show that I really like. Uh, yeah, I, I just said Outlander. It's just, Outlander is just the best TV show I've watched. Uh, I just love that TV show. Man. It's good. Um, but yeah, but you know, there are heaps that I when I when I when, I, when we stop when we stop the chat, I'll be like, oh shoot, ah, I should have said that. <laughs> just said that, you know, movie. Um, uh, yeah, let's just stick to those for now. Yeah. There we go. Well, if Max has more, we'll have a scrolling list of Max recommended TV shows, movies, dramas, comedies. You name it. It's all gonna be. There's gonna be text scrolling across your screen. I lost. Lost. I love Lost as well. When I when I was watching Lost, I think I sat down and finished like the first three seasons in like three days with my mom. So we like sitting down, we like let's what? watch it. <laughs> it's so um, addi- I- it's so addicting. I loved Lost. I, I still love it. It's great great TV show. When I was watching, yeah, I was yeah just full on into it. That was a good TV show to be here. There we go. Well, if Max has more. You'll be sure to know about any TV, movie, food, any recommendations. They'll all be up on the screen now. Yep. But uh, next question, Max: If you were trapped on a desert island, ironically enough, which we were talking about lost, so I thought it was a good segue. Uh, yep. If you're trapped on a desert island for the next month, and there was one record you could bring with you, what would it be? Mm. <clears throat> my dying bride <clears throat> for my fallen angel. I think that's what that's what's called. Pretty sure. Is it? Pretty sure. It's called For My... I'll, I'll oh. look it up. Just to, you no, just... no, no, it's not. no, it's not. For My Fallen Angel is the other one. Um, it's uh, The River... Damn it. I can't look at my phone now. Uh, I always want to look at a computer. Uh, 
Angel and the Dark River. The Angel and the Dark Rivers. I think that's what it's called. That's what the album yes, is called. Yes, that's correct. You are correct. That album by Dane Bright, The Angel and the Dark River, 1995. Sure. Correct. Yeah, that would be what I would take. Because if I'm going to die there, that will help me. <laughs> In a good way, though. Like, in a good way. Don't get me wrong. In a good way. I love those guys. There we go. Well, we couldn't have Max. We couldn't have, you know, listen. Here on Audio Addiction, people don't remember shit. I don't remember shit. So don't beat up on Max too hard in the comments. <laughs> I totally get that. There's been plenty of times where I've, like, completely missed a mark on certain things. So, listen. If you want to beat up on anyone, definitely come after me. I'm, you know, I don't mind being the human meat shield. <laughs> Do you know, I actually can't, I wouldn't remember to remember the name of the song from My Dying Bride, but their uh, the, the 1999 album, it's dreadful, oh man, because their, their album name is really hard, and our memory is not good. Uh, I can't remember that album, but they actually have a song that is that topic, that it's a guy that, like, spending the last day of his life on, on the desert, and, like, it's so, it's so weird. It's the same topic, actually. Oh, my they God. A... It was 1995, though, or what year was it? 1999, pretty sure. Okay, now let me see. I'll look it up real quick because I'm I'm yeah, very curious yeah. now. What's uh, the album? What's the album called? What's the album called? Dreadful? No, Dreadful is the next one. Yeah, I'm bad. I'm bad with names. <laughs> it's all good, dude. Uh, I have the light of the world. That's what the song called though. Okay. L the light at the end of the world. That's what the song called. I think what it is. Okay, because that's the album. That's actually the album name, I believe. Oh, yeah, that is the. That is so the album it. name. And the song, yeah. There we go. We figured it out, internet. You're welcome. Um, and then, of course, the last thing, Max. The most important thing. We're at the end of the road. Tell them about Nucleus. Where you can find you at. New music. Uh, the new single. Okay. Tell them. Tell them about where they can find the new single. The name of it, because we. I feel like we didn't even say the name. So <laughs> tell yeah. all the people what's going on. <laughs> So we, we dropped a new single just a couple of days ago. It's called Mind Smack. It's ironic. It's cool. And um, you can find it, you know, on all those platforms that you know. YouTube um, has a video. It's like a it's like a cool job done by our buddy Colin Jeffs. Um, he's a great videographer here in Australia. He's so good. Um, and he's done like a really cool edit on our live uh, footage that we uh, played with uh, Polaris and Make Them Suffer here. Um, so watch it, uh, check out the song, check out our Spotify, please, add us to our, to our Spotify, because that's pretty much how we earn our money at the point, guys. <laughs> uh, yeah, YouTube, Spotify, you know, Google, all of them, man. We also have our, we used to have a website, but then we kind of like brought it down, because um, as a DIY band, we just found the website not really getting much uh, attraction, and then just a lot of expenses coming out of our pocket just sure. to... So our band camp is pretty much our website at the moment. So our band camp page has everything that you want to know about Nucleus pretty much. <clears throat> and um, yeah, YouTube, Spotify, band camp, and Instagram, you know, see us, check us out, putting uh, weird selfies and funny videos up, you know. If, you know, the, 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 thing I, the, thing, the thing about Instagram, I always feel like I don't want people to think I'm some, uh, you know, <clears throat> arrogant guy that keeps <laughs> taking photos of myself and put it on Instagram, but it's Instagram is like that. If you always put in <coughs> photos of yourself or like of, of your band, they'll be like, ah, this guy. Ugh. That's well, that's what it is. So, uh, yeah. I got I have one last question to ask you, Max, and then I'll obviously do your plug for your band. How did you find out about the channel? Because I always have a good, I always yeah. love asking this question for myself because. For me, as being a marketer, you know, I went to school for that. I'm always very curious on how people find out about the whole yeah. the whole thing. Well, well, interestingly, Jade and our singer actually uh, found you, but I heard about your channel before, and I watched a couple of things from you. And then Jade was just, like, uh, pointing out, like, you know, there's, there's a couple of really cool channels online that they do, like, interview with bands, and they, they look pretty legit, and they have good, you know, uh, you know, um, just a good theme and you know just everything about it makes it interesting and and he pointed out your channel hi you remember these guys like we should we should do like an interview with those guys because they look they look pretty good and um, you know good followers as well yeah so Jalen actually called you guys out uh, and then I you know and then we, we start talking with each other and yeah there you go we there we go almost the interview yeah 
Well, thank you, Jaden. Uh, hopefully, next time we'll have you on and the rest of the rest of the yeah. nucleus on. Uh, yeah. You know, the time difference is very, very, <laughs> very much. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, because it's Sunday morning here, and then Jaden, like you know, Jaden. Um... <laughs> and then uh, Jaden lives kind of far away from me. It's like an hour drive, uh, and you know, he's a bit of a party boy. So he's probably. You know, <laughs> party uh, no, I don't think so. But yeah, yeah. So it was a bit hard. But yeah, definitely next time, man. Definitely would love to be on board again. Because uh, we're dropping singles every every month or every two months. So I'm pretty sure you can hear uh, our next single very soon. So there we go. Well, if as you heard Max say, go check out Nucleus. They're dropping singles like left and right. So you know you want to listen to their new music. You know you want to follow them on Spotify. So go do yeah. that so you get notified of when they drop new music because, you know, I feel like now I know. Now I know Max. They're hard at work crafting up the next single. So go show them some love. I'll leave all of the links in the description where you can find out about Nucleus, their newest single. Go check that out. You know your boy gave the subscribe to the channel already. So go do that. Go give them a subscribe on there so you find out about all their stuff on YouTube. Um, if they have merch, go pick it up. I know bands are really struggling in this time. So go do that. And um, thanks, of course, uh, to Max for coming on. And if you enjoyed this interview... What? Share it, like it, subscribe. It goes a long way. Um, go tweet at John. John Perucci. Come on, John. I'm looking at you right now in the camera. Come on, John. <laughs> the man. Yeah. The man, the myth, the legend. Tell John Perucci that he needs to come on. Do a track. You know, I I'm just saying. We're, we're, we're out to make dreams happen in 2020 here at Audio Addiction. So make sure to go tweet at John Perucci. And thanks, of course, yeah. to Max. Uh, Max of Nucleus for coming on and just doing the chitty chat thing, man.